Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. It is currently gone on for half two. I'm only starting to vlog now because I've had kind of a crazy morning. I've been editing a lot this morning. I need to just seriously brush my hair. Then I had a bit of a crisis. So I know you guys probably don't care, but this is where I'm at this morning. So I went into my computer, I was editing, whatever, and then it said that my memory was full. So what I needed to do was remove stuff. So I ended up removing stuff and deleting all old, old videos and stuff off my hard drive and off my computer. And then the next thing I got this notification to say that I needed to update iMovie, that's what it was. And then when I went to update iMovie, it said that the software that I was using currently is out of date and I needed to update that. So I uninstalled iMovie and it will not install now because my software is out of date and I can't find the oldest software from it. So it's just very annoying. So Jimmy's brother is going to take a look at it tonight. He's a tech person, <laughs> I don't know what you call them, computer expert. So he's gonna take a look at it tonight because I'm going for dinner at half seven in where am I going? Sophie's on Harcourt Street. I am going with a brand tonight, which is kind of exciting. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna be able to vlog. The brand is Avene, and they've organized this dinner to meet us. I'm out for dinner like this at a blogging event ever, because I usually don't go to them. Because I usually, I don't know, I always feel kind of, not weird going to like vlogging events, and never, like not like that, but I always feel weird at a dinner setting. I don't have like any problems like going to like dinner with my friends obviously, but I feel so uncomfortable when I go to like dinner settings and stuff like that as a blogger. The only reason I'm going to this one is because my agency organized it and all the bloggers that are gonna be at it, like there's only a few of us and I know them and like, you know, it's gonna be fine. Blogging and YouTubing in Ireland are like two completely different things. So sometimes I just feel a bit ox. I put an Inglot order in yesterday, no the day before yesterday, I just got confirmation that my D DPD driver is going to be delivering it now so I can't wait to get them because I wanted to do an eye look with uh, one of the new shadows that are from their candy palette which I will show you. I didn't buy the candy palette because I actually ac I actually have three of the shadows already or two or something like that so I just purchased the ones I was missing. So that's all that's going on tonight. I'm going to get ready for like well not going to get ready right now because dinner is not till half seven. I just kind of need to plan in my head what I want to wear. I'm going to shave my legs because I really need to. They're like long, very, very long. I'm petting them right now. Every time I seem to be vlogging, my legs are extremely hairy and I need to shave them. Isn't that just shocking? I got the most extremely exciting package this morning. I just want to show you this. You probably have seen it on Instagram and my Twitter already, but you have to see it here on my blog channel. Look who I finally got hold of, the chip mug, the ever so coveted chip mug. I have been searching for chip for years, even though this chip mug's only been in pennies like the last little while, but I've been looking for a chip mug all my young life. I love Chip. He is my favourite character out of Disney, other than Marie, we've discussed this, but I just love him so much. That's him there. He's only going to be used as an ornament in my house because I will not be putting any teas or coffees or anything like that. And he's going to go on my dresser downstairs. I bought him on eBay for 10 euro. I did not care because I just wanted him so badly and he's not coming back into pennies until September. And I'm not going to be killing people to try and get hold of my chip mug in September. I have him. So now I'm just going to keep him very, very safe and out of harm's way <laughs> on my dresser or wherever. I'm just, oh, I'm so happy to have him finally. So I'm gonna actually go hop in the shower, get myself organized. I need to brush my gruig because it's just a hot mess this morning. Okay guys, so I'm out of the shower about an hour and a half, two hours, I don't know. I've curled my hair, dried my hair. I'm back in my my Pretty Little Things hoodie. I love this hoodie. I need like 10 of them because it's just cropped and I just love it. It's just really relaxing and slouchy. I'm gonna put on some YouTube while I do my makeup. I'm liking my hair today. I need to brush it out, but I'm just gonna leave all the curls in it as they are right now and then just brush them through in a little while. My hair looks really dull on camera for some reason but it's not really. My Inglot order arrived so I will show you what I got. I get a whole lot of things and I opened these just so I could show you them quickly. I just got three eyeshadows and I'm very excited about these eyeshadows because I just think that they're really nice pretty bright colours and something different. So these are the three eyeshadows I got. So I got this kind of orangey one, a purple, and then this kind of, I don't know, coral shade, I suppose you'd call it. So the orange shade is number 287. The shade that was in the middle is 290. And then that coraly shade 
is, oh my god, 311. I believe this shade and this shade are in the Candy Palette, so that's why I didn't bother getting them. And um, these kind of look very similar now in person. No, they're clearly not. My eye is playing tricks on me. The darker shade is number 297 and the one that I got today is 290, so there you go. It's got this pigment in number 24. It's like a coppery shade. It's really, really pretty. Pity? Pretty. <laughs> I really like it. And then some Duraline. My famous Duraline. I'm all out of my Duraline at the moment and I spilt the last tiny bit that I had all over my makeup bag and it ruined everything so that is what Duraline looks like. Basically if you're not familiar with Inglot's products Duraline is like one of their cult favourite products. You can mix this in with your gel liner to make gel liner go on much easier or you can mix it in with eyeshadows make them more pigmented. You can put it on, put lipstick Put it through a lipstick rather to make the lipstick go on a little bit creamier. It's used for so many different things. I just use it to bring my eyeshadows, not my eyeshadows, my eyeliners back to life when they're kind of drying out a bit or brow products or anything like that. It is a go-to must-have product. So there they are, all happy in the palette. So these two are obviously the new one and this one here. So I can't wait to start creating some looks with them. And yeah, I think I'm going to use my English shadows today for my, my eyeshadow. Makeup and hair is done. I'm going to get dressed now. I don't know what to wear, but I just was talking to Chloe there now and she was saying she's wearing jeans and a flowy top. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna end up wearing is just like jeans and a cute top because it seems to be kind of cash. I don't want to, I don't know whether to wear heels or not now because it's just pouring down rain outside. I also wanted to wear eyelashes, can't find my eyelash glue, so I may have to go without them as well. It's not going very well, but my hair looks good, I think, after I've been brushed out and stuff. Oh, I love hair extensions. Ah, they just make me feel so happy. Okay, I'm dressed. I'm wearing this kind of flowy top from, oh my God, my hair's gone really flat. I'm wearing this flowy top from Misguided, and I got this ages ago, and it has them bell sleeves. You would have seen that on my Instagram. But I've only one shoe on because I'm trying to figure out what shoes to wear. Jeans are from, what's it called? Vera Moda. <laughs> so that's what I'm sporting. And then I haven't decided on the shoes. These are the ones I'm wearing now. Um, I don't know how I feel about them. I think they kind of go. So I think that's what I'm going to go with because I just can't make a decision on any more outfits. I'm also running late. 
and <laughs> that is nothing new because that is just the story of my life. Still can't find the eyelash glue so I'm just going to have to make do without them but I have to go out the door now because yeah it's getting late and I said I would meet Chloe at 7 on Baggett Street so I have to go ASAP. Okay guys, I am off, I'm gonna turn that down. I'm listening to Aaron Carter's album that he brought out in February. I am actually obsessed with the song, what's it called, Fool's Goal. It's so good. And the only reason I'm listening to him again is because obviously he's in the media. Oh my God, Jimmy, why'd you have to park so close? Oh, and then there's a car coming around the corner. Like, just because he's in the media again, obviously not for the, the most amazing reasons, but his album is actually quite good, and Fool's Gold is actually one of my favorite songs. Although, it does sound kind of like Zayn Malik type music, and Jimmy was like, I wonder did they do, like, Zayn Malik songs as well, whoever did his music, but apparently he has his own record label, which is quite interesting. If only he would just get his act together. I'm wearing leather pants, like I showed you earlier. Even though it's raining outside, I. I am sweating in them. It's really, really, really humid. The roads are lethal because it's been dry for the last few days. I haven't driven actually since we were down in Galway. And uh, the roads are really, really, really tre treacherous because obviously when it's dry for a few days and then starts to rain. Also, Jimmy recalled that my eyelash glue fell down the side of the car when we were down in Galway. So he fished it out for me. So we now have eyelashes on as well, but my glasses are hitting off the eyelashes, which is quite annoying. Okay guys, I'm just gonna go and park now and I'm after making one of the most stupidest mistakes of my young life, and that is forgetting to bring a setting powder with me because I am sweating buckets. It's so humid and the weather is atrocious. And when I was driving, like big pet peeve of mine is well obviously it's a pet peeve of everybody's but that's unsafe driving i don't understand why people can't check their car mirrors look here's another lady walking out in front of me i just don't understand why people can't look out for cars keep an eye on your right mirror keep an eye on your your reverse mirror keep an eye on your left mirror before you're switching lanes visibility is so poor today because it is a bucketing down and I had several people pull out in front of me and I was like oh my god I'm going to die in this car I just don't understand drivers I really don't get them I have sweaty upper lip I have sweaty chin sweaty forehead sweaty in between my eyes I'm sweaty everywhere and I probably look not that sweaty on camera but I promise you in real life this is a hot hot mess right now okay i'm in the car park now so i'm just gonna fix my hair and ooh, blurry i'm gonna fix my hair and then head off and i'll bring you along <laughs> Guys, this is from Avene. It's their gel, clen their cleansing gel, and it's basically a spa treatment. How exciting! Hi, guys. So I'm just in Sophie's right now, and we're just have to order cocktails. Mine's a virgin, obviously, because I'm driving, and uh, we're just gonna get something to eat. I can eat fish because I know I'd be able to eat it. Yeah. Oh, look at this stuff. Instagram guys, definitely go and follow her. Look at her amazing content. She is fab. Hey guys, I'm so sorry I didn't get to finish up the vlog. Look at this mofo on my face. Sorry I didn't get to finish up the vlog. Yeah. Oh, oh Harley, drowned it again. I didn't get to finish up the vlog last night. We didn't finish up till after 11. So I was home pretty late. I didn't sleep well at all last night. I got a coffee at 11 o'clock, which was a bad idea. And then was wide awake till three in the morning. And then woke up at seven subsequently. Great. So anyway, I'm finishing up the vlog today. I won't be vlogging today because I am actually doing an awful lot of like 
emails and I need to do uh, like a, I'm having a conference with uh, not a conference what's it called Google Hangouts with a manager that I've been assigned from YouTube and I'm gonna do that now so I'm just not really around like not that I'm not around but I'm just a bit busy to vlog today but I will try and get vlogging tomorrow also my laptop needs to be updated tonight I'm trying to avoid it for as long as possibly can because I need to work obviously and when it's been updated it's going to take hours because I literally have to update everything on it iMovie is so out of date everything needs to be updated so I'm just going to try and get as much work as I can done because I know my laptop's going to be sitting up for the night updating it takes so long that's why I've been putting it off for so long which is not good Anyway, I'm gonna finish up here and thank you so much for watching today's slash yesterday's vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you all soon. Mwah.